You may have noticed in previous sections that you could have used a loop on levels where you didn't have the loop command, or used a function when it was only possible to use loops. You now have access to both loops and functions, and you can use them however you want. Now, let's try and solve this level. By looking at the level, I can see that the coins are always two squares apart, so that looks to me like there's a pattern there. So let's have a look. Walk, walk, pick up. Walk, walk, pick up. Turn right. Walk, walk, pick up. Turn right. Walk, walk. So the pattern seems to be walk, walk, pick up. So that's the bit that seems to be used in lots of places. So let's let's write the program. So first of all, I do function, because it's walk, walk, pick up to there. Then it's walk, walk, pick up. So I need the function again. Uh, turn right and then walk walk pick up so function turn right uh, and then finally from there walk walk so this should get us to the finished tile and it does Okay, so we only got two stars because we used 10 commands instead of nine. So let's see if we can optimize our code. So I'll press reset. And if we look at our program, we can see that we've got a candidate for a loop here. We've got function, right turn, function, right turn. So what we can do is we can drag a loop out and put the function right turn into loop. So we're gonna do it two times and then remove that. And now that should get to the finished tile, and also use fewer commands than 10. And it does, so we get our three stars.